Hello and a warm welcome from my side. Let me guide you through the financial result 2023. A few highlights at a glance. The revenues grew by 15% to 1.2 billion. EBTA grew by 15% as well to 126 million. The operating cash flow grew by 163% to 117 million. And the net income stood at 75.3 million, a growth of 36% compared to the previous year, translating in an earnings per share of 125 euros a share. And the backlog stood at 1.7 billion at the end of the year, a growth of 16%. The geographic distribution, it's broadly dispersed. Around 81% are in Europe, whereof 70% came from Germany, 11% from Austria, 11% from North America and 9% from Asia. A few highlights. The result is very strong compared to the guidance of more than 72 million and the consensus of 72.3 million. We had a significant beat of the guidance with 75.3 million of net income. On the back of a strong book to bill ratio of 1.18, implying a growth of 18% for the coming year, and a backlog of 1.7 billion. The net income growth expectation for 2024 is 30%. We already had 36% of growth in 2023. Last year, we closed over 700 million of revenues to expand our IoT business. The major acquisition, Kate Group acquisition, was closed in Q1 2024 and financed with uh, advantages state subsidized ÖKB loan. Then we closed last year Hartmann, Comlab and We Square to strengthen our software and solutions business. And we also closed Telic, the Telit acquisition to strengthen our connectivity with 5G modules. We are leader in specialized IoT vertical markets, in particular with regards to smart trains, aerospace and green energy. We've launched our own operating system Contron OS with supreme security, and we offer connectivity via our Contron grid. We are a member of TechDAX and SDAX, covered by eight analysts who predicted the share price at 28.7 on average. The KPIs in more detail, the gross margin grew by 26% on the back of the revenue growth. The EBTA grew to 126 million. It would have been even above 130 million or at the margin of 11% if we didn't have the transformation of the remaining IT service business into the IoT servicing business. We built 1.2 billion, but had an order entry of 1.5 billion, resulting in a book to bill of 118, a gross projection of 18% on the back of the revenues 2024. The net operating income grew by even 40% if we just take the earnings per share as we have initiated and concluded the share buyback program in 2024. And the operating cash flow grew by even 163% to 117 million in 2023. Let's have a look at the balance sheet. The working capital amounted to 190 million at the end of the third quarter. It was reduced significantly by around 20 million to 170 million at the year end, slightly higher though compared to the year end 2022. The equity stood almost unchanged if you take the additional treasury shares of 43 million into account. And we had still cash and cash equivalents of 332 million at year end despite 118 million of debt repayment and 109 million of dividend and share buyback outflows. The net cash was even higher than at the end of 2022 at 121 million and the equity ratio stood unchanged at 44%. Looking at the liquidity, we have 332 million cash on hand and we expect another 19 million receivables from the focus transactions from we're seeing in the second quarter. We also have 130 million of lines available and an additional 90 million of lines 
which were arranged amid the Catholic integration. That all translates into a liquidity of around 600 million after the Catholic acquisition, which we will use only cautiously to strengthen our business. If we compare the operating cash flow to 2021 and 2022, you see a strong hike up from 95 and 44 million respectively to 117 million. That is a cash conversion ratio of more than 90%. We will maintain our cash conversion target of 75% for 2024 and will propose a dividend of 50 cents a share, which is around 50% of net earnings and compares to our rule, which is spending expectation of around 50% of our net earnings in dividend and share buybacks. So the proposed dividend will be 50 euro cents a share in May at the EGM. And uh, please bear in mind that we paid special dividend of one euro share, but the 50 euro cent a share is the highest ever normalized dividend Contron has paid so far. If you have a look at the various KPIs in comparison 2022 to 2023, you see that while the equity ratio stood on the same level at 44%, all other ratios increased significantly and improved. Revenues, the growth margin improved from 35% to 38% would have been even above 38%, around 39% if we didn't have the integration costs for converting the IT service remaining part of the business into IoT service business. The EBTA margin came out at 126 million. The net profit grew to 75.3 million and the working capital grew to 170 million on the back of a very strong operating cash flow of 117 million and the net cash flow improved to 121 million. Let's have a look at the latest developments in the CATEC acquisition. The signing of the majority stake took place mid-January and we closed the acquisition of the majority stake in listed CATEC end of February. So we'll consolidate CATEC from March onwards. We've also secured a 125 million subsidized loan, subsidized by UKB, and we'll launch a tender offer for the remaining minority shareholders at 15 euros a share, which will close probably by mid-May and result in the delisting of Kartec by end of May. The integration is likely to be completed by the end of the second quarter, and we will introduce new product lines by the end of the fourth quarter, resulting in a group gross margin of around 40% in 2025. We'll have 10 divisions in total, together with Kartec. There are two new divisions, Green Tech and ODM. And the division aerospace, software, and industrial will be strengthened with CarTech business. Contron had by the year end 2023 a gross margin of 38%, CarTech a gross margin of around 31%. That translates into a blended gross margin of 37%. How are we going to increase this gross margin? Well, you see that the revenue share of manufacturing service was around 50%, while the EBTA contribution was only 18%, and 70% of the EBTA came from green tech, another 14% from aerospace. We are going to add Contron IoT software to smart IoT solar inverters and to the EV chargers of green tech, of car tech, to increase the gross margin by around 5%, which will bring about synergies potential of over 30 million. And we have cost synergies of around 10 million, resulting from administrative cost savings. On top of that, we have some cost synergies, no major layoffs. We'll benefit from a favorable financing of the Contron Group. There will be only one stock listing left, and we have some administrative cost savings, resulting in a growth margin increase of overall 5% and a blended EBTA margin of approximately 10%. The basic 
IoT software of Contron brings about a new level of technology to IoT with the high security standard, remote maintenance and remote control of basically all machines we connect with each other. We also offer Contron Grid to connect devices to a smart grid. It's our target to become Windows for machines and to install Contron on all IoT devices we connect. We have already secured around 30 million of artificial intelligence projects where we support video surveillance, defect detection, and robotics movements and maintenance with our artificial intelligence solutions. We provide mission critical control systems for high speed trains. We provide green tech with our IoT software, enhanced, and we enhance our aerospace and defense solutions with Contron OS installed already on 4,000 planes. The guidance for 2024 will be 1.9 billion of revenues and net income of 100 million. You see that from 2021 onwards, IoT on an isolated basis has surpassed Contron on an integrated basis together with IT service. And we have achieved in 2023 the highest net income ever so far with a growth expected by 30% in 2024 again. I'm looking forward to continue the journey together with you.